Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. This week, Chris Horn is back and Chris, it looks like you've been to the DIY store again. Yep, I have. This, I is, have. this is copper. This is copper um, plumbing pipe. Okay, yeah. so have you got a leak? <laughs> not anymore. I used to. Yeah. So what are, what are you going to do then with copper? I've not seen copper used in in our industry yet. So. No, no. Um, it's it's expensive, so you need to be careful with it. But with the new copper latex that Sempertex have brought in, yeah, it seems quite obvious to team the two together. I have to um, say that does look amazing. That I'm looks really happy very with that, very yeah. good. I love that, but that, that piece of copper, that's just a straight piece of copper. Piece of 22 mil water pipe. Yeah. Um, and I've dropped it over a knot stand. Yeah. And then it just transformed it. When I originally built that, I just used the knot stand as it was, and yeah. it was fine. Now it's a bit special. Yeah. And yeah, I think absolutely. putting it with the navy blue also gives it a really strong, very sharp and quite masculine it feel yeah, to it, definitely. which is a nice change too. Definitely. So that's your sort of either side of the entrance whatever yeah. focal point decor thing yeah and this is your table centerpiece okay so Not this, sure this is do. 10 millimeter micro bore tubing um and it com comes on a coil yeah so that makes life really easy i see yeah like i know what i'm talking about is that okay <laughs> <laughs> you get 10 Not meters much. of it all coiled up you know, okay about that that is the size of the coil all right and i just sort of cut a piece and it'll pulled it into shape so it is actually quite fun because if you want it a bit shorter you can push it down and if you want it a bit higher you can pull it up so how much have you used here is that a couple of That's, meters one and a half yeah meters? about okay. two meters okay. so this has cost um well where i bought it from it was 20 pounds for the 10 meter roll but that was yeah. in retail so you know if you're going to do this kind of thing i'm, I'm absolutely certain you can find them cheaper elsewhere yeah um so we, we're looking at four pounds worth of copper here okay which, again, when you think about it, isn't an awful lot if it's going to give you a, yeah, a really big centerpiece. Yeah. So I literally used, used the coil as it was, pulled it up into the, sh the shape that I want, tied a, um, a, a, an uninflated five-inch balloon around the end of it mm -hmm. so that I can put some clusters on the top. So cluster of four, um, similar size. Got a good old traditional sizing involved yeah. here. because I want The this. same as well. Yeah, no, yeah, well, yeah. I want this to form the the sort of cup that I will put the top onto. So it needs to be um, similar size to, to actually sit properly. Another smaller one below it. So the last time you were here, we were doing the training. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you'd been doing some little air fill stand things. Yes. And there was uh, something like this, and I just tried to pull it off <laughs> and I couldn't. <laughs> And you said that was just because you had a latex balloon on it. Yes, you tie the latex balloon on the end really, really tight. And yeah. then you can push these up against it and it will keep them sitting very, very firmly. Yeah. And yeah, you, you did struggle to get... Well, I couldn't get it off. I just put it in the boot of the car as it was, didn't I? Saw it yeah. down in the office, yeah. Yeah, but it's still there. Yeah, so yes, it's, it's a simple thing. But tying that, that balloon around the end will make all the difference. Yeah. yeah. Couple of other clusters, this time a little bit more randomly sized, organified, yeah. if organified, you like. Organified, indeed. And I'm literally just going to wrap those on to give a little bit of texture further down the the coil. Yeah. The one there, and I'll put another one there. Right. I, I'm, I'm going to get ahead of myself now and give you fair warning. Okay. Question of the week, don't forget. Oh no, okay. I had one prepared last time and I didn't this time. Yeah, okay. So right. slow things down then. So, yes, then we've got those. really <laughs> slow while I think about it. Bit, little bits of ivy. I think it, without the ivy, it looked okay. But when I put this in, it just softened it, took the edge off a little bit. So it just You know what, I worked. noticed that on your organic course and when we last did it, everybody did the topiary tree and everybody was taking pictures against the wall and everything and everybody was really impressed with it and then you just went up to it, a few flowers shoved them yeah, in then they had to do it all like, again oh didn't they? wow that's even better and it is just adding a few <laughs> it, little bits it like that makes, really a difference, makes a difference doesn't it yeah yeah no, there's no effort involved it literally just just yeah. whoop, a bit fell off there just poke it in between the balloons and that's all that's required so yeah this this particular ivy i don't know where i got it from but i liked it because it had the brown stem 
So yeah. again, the colour picked up quite nicely on the uh, thing, but that's not important. It was just another one of those little details. And it, the devil is always in the detail, indeed, I think. Indeed. So, this is the 24 inch. Should we, should we bring our yes, naughty step bring out? Bring the naughty step out, probably a good I'll idea. Just sit that down here. there. So, this is the 24 inch um, round balloon. That's the 36 on there. Neither of them fully inflated in this instance, yep. but and it's air filled. So, there's no helium. I'm just literally going to pull that through there. There we go. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't complicated. That is so easy. Yeah. Uh, but very impactful, isn't it? Yeah. Because I think the... if you went into a room and you got those on every table, it's going to go, wow. Yeah. Isn't it? So, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. I, this this copper here, it may cost you four pounds, but it's it's produced, it has added so much value. Well, just think what you could sell that for, because it is so unusual and it does have that, I don't know, industrial feel because yep. you've got the bare metal. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's just different. So now you can buy um, aluminium tubing the same way right, from okay. the same sort of places that you get your aluminium rod from. Yeah. So you could do a similar thing with aluminium tubing within silvers and blacks and, and yeah. whatever else if yeah. you wanted to. And obviously you can cover this and spray paint it and all the rest of it if you want different colours. Yeah. But with this colour combination of balloons, I don't want to be faffing about with uh, changing the colour. It's perfect. It's exactly what we needed. It works perfectly. That's really good. Just pull that up if you would because oh, I, I literally just threw in a much more standard um, helium filled bouquet yeah but again a little bit of ivy tiny piece of ivy and a small five inch balloon under each of the 11s and it it gives it that pop and makes yeah. it a bit more special yeah so you can have some of the, this on some of the tables that on some of the tables a couple of those and your Excellent. room is fabulous it just happens to tone in really well with the the um, satin looks rose copper. I really like the satin looks balloons. I think they're great. So, Chris, you've given everybody a, a wedding solution from the yeah. entrance to the mix deal. it up on the tables. So, that, I think that's got to be one of the shortest BMTVs we've ever yes, done together. Yes, I'm ever so sorry about but that. It, I could it, have made it more complicated. We, we should have make it, made it more complicated, but I it's not. It's, it's simple. It's good. And, and that's people can do it. So. What I like. I like to keep things as simple as possible if I can. And when I find something like this that works so well, I go, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Question of the week. Have you got yeah, one? Yeah, uh, I still haven't had a chance to think about it, really. Okay. Um, but I, I personally think, I, I'm thinking about the, the metallics and the golds, the silvers, the rose golds and the coppers. Mm -hmm. We now have all of those. Yeah. And I've seen it on Pinterest a couple of times and, and, and things where people are mixing the metals together. Yeah. And I think it looks rather stunning. So, uh, how, but... Some of the other people in the office don't. They, oh no, don't like that. Yeah. So what is, would you mix your metals? Would you have a mixed decor of gold and silver, gold and copper, copper and rose gold? Oh. Would you mix metals together or not? Would you mix your metals together? And if you've got some photos of any time you've done that, please yeah, uh, show be nice us to on see. Facebook or something. So there you go. Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Chris, thank you so much for coming in once again. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next week. Bye. Bye.